but imaginary time is also a well-defined mathematical concept. It can be thought of as a direction of time that is at right angles to ordinary, real time, in a certain sense. The universe has a beginning in real time, at the Big Bang. And it may well have an end if it collapses to a big crunch. But in imaginary time, it has no beginning or end. Rather, imaginary time is closed in on itself, like the surface of the Earth. The surface of the Earth doesn't have any beginning or end. I know, because I have been round the world, and I didn't fall off. Individual particles can travel through imaginary time, and arrive back at an earlier real time. 